the weightless end. Now, this is a problem I have solved uh, previously in the uh, problem session. So I will just go through the solution here for the sake of completeness. Uh, but it was actually already solved in the uh, problem section of uh, this channel. So an ant with mass M is standing peacefully on top of a horizontal stretched rope. The rope has mass per unit length mu and is under tension F. Without warning, a kit starts a sinusoidal transverse wave of wavelength lambda propagating along the rope. The motion of the rope is in a vertical plane. What minimum wave amplitude will make the ant become momentarily weightless? Assume that M is so small that the presence of the ant has no effect on the propagation of the wave. So we have the ant standing on this uh, transverse sinusoidal wave. It has a weight mg and because uh, this string element is performing uniform circular motion as the wave propagates, it's on an accelerated reference frame feeling a, a fictitious force m times ay pointing in the opposite direction as the uh, acceleration of the string element. So if this is a traveling wave, it has a sine kx minus omega t, its wave function where the propagation speed is omega over k, which is square root tension f divided by mass per unit length. The uh, transverse velocity vy is del y del t is minus a omega cosine kx minus omega t. Transverse acceleration is minus a omega square sine kx minus omega t. So we can see that maximum acceleration is a omega square, which is a k square uh, v square, which is f over mu. So we have k is equal to uh, 2 pi over lambda. That's the wave number 2 pi over lambda. So we have 4 pi square over lambda square f over mu times a. So the ant is on this non-inertial accelerating reference frame on a crest. The transverse acceleration of the rope element is maximum and pointing down. Therefore, the ant feels a fictitious force pointing up, which has its maximum value m a y times max. So the net force on the y axis is zero so that the ant will become weightless. m a y will be equal to m g. So a y must be equal to G. The maximum transverse acceleration 4 pi square amplitude f over lambda square mu is equal to g so that the minimum amplitude that will uh, allow this situation to occur is mu lambda square g over 4 pi square f. The maximum a y value with this minimum amplitude just matches the gravitational acceleration g and makes the ant weightless momentarily. Uh, during the propagation of the transverse sinusoidal wave.